Welcome to Silent Hill Homecoming. This is the seventh Silent Hill game that I've played. After this, there's only Silent Hill 2 left, and then I will have played all eight. This one was released in 2008, made by Double Helix Games. It was their first game as a studio, and it's also the only game in the Silent Hill franchise that they have made. There really have been a lot of different companies that have worked on all the various Silent Hills after they after Konami stopped developing it in-house. So you get a lot of very different takes on what Silent Hill is, which is interesting. This one, however, is pretty widely hated by people. It's not liked. People don't like it. It's apparently not very good. But hey, let's check it out. New game. There are no saved games. Normal. Brightness is good. Let's go. Where's my squad? Are they here? Did they make it? Hey! Hey, talk to me! Say something! Oh, God! Oh, oh God! Hey, hey, what are they doing? What's going on there? Hey, where are you taking me? No! Hey! No! Where am I? Hey, what is this place? Hey, where are you taking me? No! Where am I, man? Hey, wait. Where are you going? Don't leave me here! And there we go, now we're in game. Uh, it's telling me to press the one button, but I'm using mouse and keyboard, so I... Huh, it did this last time I started a new game. If I try to click anything, it, it doesn't actually work. I guess it's like assigned to controller right now, which is weird because I tried using a controller and it doesn't actually work with uh, an Xbox One wireless controller. It doesn't detect it at all. So I don't know why I would default to something that isn't even working. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you can change between mouse and keyboard or controller. If I go to mouse and keyboard, it should start working. There we go. Now we can struggle to get out of the restraint. One is actually just the left mouse button. Turn on your flashlight when in dark areas. That's F. So a bit of info before I get going properly. Um, I haven't been past this room. This is all I've played is just running around this room, checking settings, making sure everything is okay, which took quite a while. This isn't the sort of game that I could just install and just start playing and go for it. This game on PC anyway has some major, major issues. Uh, I don't even think it's with modern computers specifically. I think it just always had huge issues. You know, one of those games that was released on PC, a terrible port probably, and then no one ever fixed it. At least no one officially fixed it, but I am running an unofficial patch, which makes things a lot nicer. I'll link it in the description. But just to give you an idea of some of the things that happen in this game when you don't have the unofficial patch, it crashes all the time when you try to alt tab out. Mm, I remember that there was an issue where the sound was completely broken. It was like you could hear some stuff, but mostly it was extra quiet and things would only show up on the right or the left. It was just like half of the audio was missing or in the wrong spot. And it turned out the issue was that the game just doesn't work properly with stereo audio. I had to set my computer to fake 5.1 audio and then have it downmix that to stereo to work properly. It's like it was outputting 5.1 before, but my computer was 
only grabbing a couple of the channels rather than all 5.1 of them. So it, yeah, <laughs> this game has a lot of problems. So with the unofficial patch, it's a lot better. Oh, also, I'm sick, by the way, so my voice is kind of a little shitty and doesn't feel good. Anyway, with that said, let's actually play. So we're a soldier talking about like, where's my, where's my, what did they say? Where's my men? Where's my uh, regiment or whatever they said? I wonder if this is happening while we're injured and passed out or something going through this nightmare. What the hell is that? That symbol, Silent Hill, press the Silent Hill symbol to open? The, f the fuck is the Silent Hill symbol? <laughs> what key on my keyboard is that? Uh, it's not here, is it? Is it under controller? No. Oh, okay. I don't understand at all. I, looks like the lock is broken, I can't open it. Weird, all I did was left click. Whoa, look at that super blurry zoom in. It just has Silent Hill symbols. I know that's not the proper name of it, but I forget what it's called. It's got the Silent Hill symbol for symbol for next and for back. Is that an error? That isn't a button. The patient in room 206 is scheduled to undergo a transorbital orbital lobotomy tomorrow. Uh, okay, that's not good. I've mandated that the following medications be doubled on the day of the procedure. I thought lobotomies were obsolete. Who scheduled this procedure? I think this is an iron lung. It looks old. Hmm, so sometimes you can get a description on things just by clicking even if there's no prompt. So I should probably click on a lot of things that are interesting. It's an old dirty mattress. Old medical supplies. Wonderful streak of blood from the very nice doctor that took me into this place. No smoking. Did you have to shoulder it? It's a little extreme. Missing patient bulletin. Room 205. Patient went missing. Last seen in the day room after a confrontation with another. The rest of the message is blurred and illegible. Which room is which, by the way? Does it, is there a number, like, over it? I assume the 206 lobotomy was for me. I don't see any numbers. Hello. Josh. Josh, is that you? Alex. <laughs> so our name is Alex. I'm assuming they're our kid. Or Josh is our kid anyway. I don't know who that kid is. There's physics, like you can hit stuff and it moves. It's locked. Maybe the keypad controls it. No idea what the password is. Four, five, six digits? Alex. <laughs> Be quiet. Creepy kid. Oh. I see part of the number. Oh, that's some nasty pictures. MRI of somebody with a nail <laughs> from... It looks like it shot up into, uh... Well, basically straight up from the inside of their mouth. That's a fucked up spine. Okay. 
Six, two, four. We need to find the other half. Oh, hey! That looks like a classic Silent Hill map. Map of the hospital. Yeah, that looks very Silent Hill. So it's kind of weird how it's like zoomed into the corner. That's probably an effect of the patch and like things running at different resolutions. Um, it probably would look differently if I was playing it without the patch. I think there's a way to zoom this stuff in and out also. So I'll look into that if there's any issues with like not being able to see stuff. But I can see this all pretty well. Escape from the hospital. That sounds good. Oh, this is actually just straight up the Alcamilla Hospital. Asylum for the Mentally Ill. Okay, now the map is just all fucked up. I can't... I can't move it at all. <laughs> okay. Does M open the map? Or, uh, tab or something? Tab. Yeah, that's just kind of... Whoa. Alright. I'll probably have to fix that later. Attention staff, our security has been somewhat compromised. A patient using an x-ray film to write down the code for the security gate. We have recovered the first half, but the second half is still missing. Should you find the missing x-ray piece, be sure to notify the head of security immediately. Did they really feel like they had to put this in to make sure I knew what to do? Like, I... I feel like it's pretty obvious. You need to find a code, look around, you see a piece of code on the thing. Control panel for the PA system doesn't appear to be working. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Silent Hill is a place of traumas made real, made horrifying, every bad thing in your life kind of just coming out and being almost consumed by the town and thrown back in your face in all sorts of different ways, making, almost like it's making its own personal nightmare for you. So since Alex is a soldier, the first thing I'm thinking of is like, you know, the traumas you get from war, PTSD, things like that. Are these the patients? What are all these corpses doing here? Another iron lung. Shall we go into the place with the screaming baby? Oh, that one opens. It's a doll. Child's doll that appears to be burned. I wonder how it got here. These look disturbing. Man, I wish those... Those lines were voiced, you know? I wish they were voiced. Health drink. The patient proceeded to leap through the window and then ravaged the adjacent room. The patient was not responsive to verbal commands. Three staff members eventually subdued the patient. The patient entered a catatonic state and stopped responding to outside stimuli. Restraints were unnecessary during the following week's electroshock therapy sessions. Fancy. Can jump over. Oh, there's the other half. I think. A selection wheel? Nothing on it? 
I guess I probably have to put it on the working light table back in that other room. This one's kind of fucked up. Yeah, I think so. Needs to be backlit. Just some old magazine. I'm not interested right now. Pile of magazines don't recognize any of the titles. Oh. Combat training manual. Basic weapons combat. Today's soldier needs to be prepared for the rigors of training and beyond. These are techniques that are going to keep you alive out in the field. Is this weapon hints? To equip a weapon, open the weapon menu and select your weapon of choice. How to use combat stance and targeting. To get into your combat... This, is, this feels really silly. To get into your combat ready stance, hold or tap the target button with a melee weapon equipped. Okay, I don't know what the target button is, but I'll figure it out. When you enter combat stance and enemies are present, you will automatically target the closest enemy in your field of view. Multiple enemies are surrounding you, the target will be the closest. The target enemy will be highlighted by the flashlight. To change targets, move the mouse in the direction of that target, typically left or right. To break targeting at any time, exit combat stance by releasing the target button or tapping it again. Charge attacks and combos. Strong attack can be charged up for added damage by holding down the heavy attack button. Successive fast attacks followed by a strong attack can make for uninterrupted strikes known as combos. Cool. This water cooler has not been used in a long time. Well, if they gave us that combat thing, we're probably gonna have to fight somebody or something real soon, right? Something is scratched on the surface of the x-ray. Hmm. Two identical icons for examine and inventory. Left click does the examine. I have no idea what does the inventory. I? Tab does this. Hmm. Okay, I know the keybind to open the inventory now. And also open the weapon menu, although I don't think I have any weapons unless my fists count. Also figure out the control to make the map bigger or smaller, but it doesn't really do what I thought it would. Like, this is obviously just a corner of the map, not the whole thing. If I press zoom in, I can scroll all around it. But I can't, like, leave it anywhere. If I back back out, it's just back to the top right corner. And if I make it bigger or smaller, it just makes that corner bigger or smaller. It doesn't actually give me a larger viewing area of the map. So... Don't know what's up with that because the map seemed okay when I first opened it. Maybe I have to reload the game. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Hopefully I don't need the map. Whew. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Oh, no, that's the... What, is that the weapon menu or the inventory? Because there's a flashlight, radio. Oh, you can turn on off. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that's the inventory. Okay. X-ray film. All right. So I assume I can, like, use it? Yes. Just click on it and it'll try to use it on whatever you're pointed at. Oh, I also saw that uh, there's a button to press to look or something like that. Allows you go into a first-person view. You can't move while in first person. You can only rotate the view. So you can't just, like, play the game like that exactly. But if you need to look at something closer, you can. And, like, I think all the other Silent Hill games, your character looks at things of interest. Like, if you notice, Alex's head is looking at the x-rays. And if you press the look button while Alex is looking at a thing, then it automatically moves your view to that thing. Even if you're looking away from it, it, like, snaps it to it. Whereas if you're not looking at anything in particular, it just snaps to wherever you happen to be looking at that moment. Kind of interesting. Sort of. I guess. Uh, 624872. 
Josh, where are you going? Looks like three like pig creatures. Josh, stop. That looks like a place to save on the wall over there. Oh, oh, the mirror actually has real reflections. What is that noise? Oh, it sounds like there's something real bad in the bathroom. Yeah. He's dead. Hard to tell what happened to him, but I don't want to stick around to find out. Also, a lot of cockroaches. Oh, it sounds like it's trying to flush the toilet, but it's dry. Okay, I consider that flushable toilets. So this is actually a good game. for letting me know. Why is this locked? Someone in there? This toilet smells like death. <laughs> this toilet is disgusting. Oh, my first weapon. All right, we're going to be fighting soon. I got a combat knife. Look at it up in the corner, all weird. What if I make that bigger or smaller? What does it do? Okay, that should be smaller so it fits on the screen. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Whoa. That's really cool looking. They did a good job of that transformation to the other side. They didn't even switch to a pre-rendered cutscene. Still in game. Oh, yay. Sexy nurses. <laughs> Alright, this, this doesn't exactly have a lot of oomph to it. Am I hitting them? I guess. Do we need to kick them? Or are they actually down? Oh, there's also a dodge button, by the way. Space. You can like... Uh, well, when you're out of combat, I think it rolls you. Yeah, I don't think I need to kick them. I don't exit combat. How do I exit combat stance? Hold on. Is this on the controls? I don't see anything here for combat stance. Oh, it's the target button. Enters and exits combat stance. Okay. Uh, yeah, now I can roll now that I'm out of combat stance. Heck yeah. Dark Souls. I just turned the, uh, sa oh, the body just literally disappeared instantly just from, uh, being here for like a minute. Okay. Didn't even fade away or anything. Uh, I just turned up the audio volume for sound effects specifically because it sounded like the, like the weapon hitting sounds or I could barely even hear them. Anyway, so here's fast attacks. Looks like they go in groups of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
And here's a strong attack. I'm holding it down. Doesn't really look like they're charging it up, to be honest. They're supposed to be, like, charging up a hit, but it looks like they're just putting it back and then waiting for a second. And if I just press strong attack once, it does that. If I hold it down, it does that. I think it says something about combos. Oh, there we go. If you do three uh, light attacks and then a strong attack, one, two, three, strong, whew, do a little spin. <laughs> you, can, you can even do a charged up variety of that spin, which just, it just looks bad. It doesn't look like they're charging anything up at all. It just looks like they're being weird. Look at me pause on my pirouette. Almost looks like it's supposed to be slow motion or something, you know? Like time is slowing down for just a second. But it's not. Alex is just being real weird. Oh, hey, uh, how's my health? It's not great. I don't know how much a health drink is going to heal, though, so... I think I'll wait till I'm more hurt. save it. Not happening. Alright, we gotta go this way. Asshole kid. The doctors say that I'm unable to discern fantasy from reality, but I think I know what's going on around here. I saw those demon, those demons murder the other patients. I want to escape from this cursed place, but I don't dare venture into the light. It seems that they're attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, you'd be better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't save you. Yeah, I don't really want to go around in the dark. Oh, I love that fan sound. Looks like they're watching TV. Just watching the static. Uh oh. Well, I guess we're going in there right now. Alright, let's try the combos. And dodging. charged up attack really pushed him back, but yeah, this combat has no weight, even with the volume up. Like, zero weight at all to these knife stabs, it feels, the combat feels terrible because the sound, if nothing else. Other, I hope other weapons are more substantial feeling. He's dead. 
Yep. Yep, I think he's dead. <laughs> Astute observation, Alex. This TV isn't plugged in. How is this possible? Oh yeah, cut through the meat door. It's weird that it takes so long to save. Like, why does it take like three, four, five seconds to access saves? It should be instant. Saving your game takes like four seconds and then it takes at least a couple seconds just to tell you that it succeeded. It's like, yeah, all right, thanks. She's not here, she's not here, she's not here. Alex, do you think they're dead? Oh, they have little faces, don't they? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe... Mm, I thought the audio was fixed by the patch. But maybe it wasn't. Maybe I still need to switch my computer to 5.1 audio. Maybe that's why the combat sounds unsubstantial. Maybe it's missing a lot of the sound. What made me just think of that is that in that cutscene, I was hearing some of the audio for Alex, like, struggling, grunting from the left channel, even though they're dead in the center of the screen. Hmm. Uh. Can I just alt tab out and do that right now? Change? Just change it? I guess I'll go try. Okay. Um, I've had a couple weird things happen. So, I was trying to get the audio to work better, going under the assumption that it wasn't working quite right. And I got it to work better. It wasn't working quite right. It was subtle to tell that, though. Like, it's almost as if the unofficial patch fixed a lot of the audio problem, but not all of it. Because I remember when I originally tested the game without any patch whatsoever, the audio was very, very obviously wrong. It was like most sounds were coming out of the right channel or the left channel. It was super imbalanced and messed up. Here, it's like, you know, I didn't even, I wasn't even sure or didn't even really suspect there was a sound problem until the cutscene where... Alex was in the center and the sound was coming from one of the side channels. Like, it almost seemed okay. But, it wasn't. Um, I searched online for Silent Hill Homecoming audio fix. There's lots of people that have talked about it. The basic idea is that you need to create some sort of virtual, like, 5.1 surround sound audio device. So that the game thinks it has a surround sound audio device to output to. So it outputs all the audio in all the channels. And then your virtual device downsamples it to actually be stereo. That's the basic idea of what you need. There's lots of tools to do that, but they're all finicky and like, I didn't, you know, I don't want to fuck up my whole audio setup just to play one game. But I got pretty lucky. There's actually a, a fix that I guess is pretty recent because I think it came out with the Windows Creator update, which came out sometime in 2018, I think, or maybe at the beginning of 2019, I don't remember. And it is called, uh, a thing I forgot the name of, um, it is called Windows Sonic for Headphones. Yeah, Windows Sonic for Headphones. Um, you can probably see if you can enable it right now, actually, if you right click on the volume thing uh, on the bottom right of your screen, there's actually an option right there for like surround sound. By default, it should be off. If you turn that on, then it gives you this like virtual surround sound thingy. I don't know what it's going to do to other stuff. I'll just probably turn it off. When I'm not playing this game, but for this game, it seems to have worked because I just fought the first nurse 
started back at the beginning of the game, fought the first nurse, and it sounded much better. There was actual feedback. However, something else odd happened. <clears throat> when I started the game back up after making the audio changes and loaded my save game, it took me back to the very beginning of the game. I tried loading both saves, and both of them took me to the very beginning of the game, and I had to go through that opening cutscene, and I couldn't skip it. So my saves are useless? I can't save my progress? It doesn't actually save? Question mark? Yeah, uh, hmm. That might be a problem. <laughs> maybe I'll just keep continuing and maybe it'll work now? Uh, I also believe the unofficial patch adds in a quick save function if you press F12. I don't know, I'm pressing that. Um, oh shit, I think it actually worked this time. Yeah, damn. Wait, is it asking me to choose where I want to save? Okay, yeah. Hmm. So that means it's using the save system like normal, which means it probably won't work just like the other ones didn't work. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I have to play through the whole game in one go and hope it doesn't crash and I can never save my progress. Who knows? Anyway, let's observe the better combat. Better feeling combat, anyway. See? Like, it's not amazing, but there's actual slice sounds. That's a definite improvement. Also, is it just me, or is there now slice, like, blood splatter and slices appearing on the character? That wasn't there before, right? Did fixing the audio also change the graphics of the game? I'm real confused, folks. Oh man, I'm trying to dodge, but it doesn't seem terribly useful. Let's see how much the health drink heals me. That was a creepy sound. It's like... <sighs> heals me about half. So yeah, let's go through this thing again. Now that everything's gonna sound a bit better. Does that sound slicier? I don't know. Maybe. Guess there's no point in using that save point, huh? Okay, buggy cutscene again. Alex's audio is still coming from the left channel. It's still fucked up, but the sound's better? Maybe just restarting the game fixed it, I don't know. Well, that was easy. Can't get the ones on the walls, damn it. He's dead. Hard to tell what happened to him, but I don't want to stick around to find out. Yep, they're dead. You know what? Let's... Hmm. I'm stuck between wanting to keep playing to see if I can get out of this nightmare, as it's called in the save game menu. Maybe the saves will work properly outside of it, but also I don't want to, like, make crap tons of progress and then find out it was all a waste. So I kind of don't want to go too far. I don't know, let's... let's keep going a little bit. Joshua's Robbie the Rabbit doll stuffed in his backpack. Wonderful. What is it saying for the photo? Robbie keeps the bad man away. Makes me think of the theme park rabbits in Silent Hill 3.
Well, there's a couple nurses down there. Actually, at least three. Uh, and we're about to drop down. Okay. Alright, let's go. Block? How did that work? I'm trying to get distance, but it's not working. It's not letting me get distance. Like, I'm trying to use the dodge to go backwards, but I, maybe you can't. I don't know. Uh, let's use the med. Oh, I have another health drink. When did I get the other health drink? What? My god, what are they doing here? Here, the door is chained shut. So I need like bull cutters or something. Child's drawing. Uh, is that steam gonna hurt me? We're fine. Oh, there's the other half of him. It's the other half of the body from downstairs. I wonder who put him here. And it's holding on to a key of some sort. Operating <clears throat> operating theater key. Well he's blocked, can't go any further here. Yeah, so I guess I don't need to cut it, actually. Just use a key like a civilized person. Sending the electroshock machine beyond the seizure threshold has yielded impressive results in the patients. The most violent and depressed patients are rendered completely docile. The only side effects have been minor memory loss, some dislocated bones, one fractured leg, and a patient bit off his tongue. This accident was quite a nice side effect, as this particular patient was also one of our noisiest. I've instructed the doctors to continue with this intensity level for all treatments. Listen to these mustache twirling villains. Joshua, is that you? Busy. Go away. What are you doing here? I want my toy. Aren't you afraid of being here alone? I'm a brave soldier. I'm looking for Robbie. Should I try to help him? Um, hmm. I guess. Is there anything I can do? Find Robbie. I want my toy. I haven't seen any toys around here. Guess you're not my friend. Okay. I'll go see if I can find him. I have the picture. Oh, that's not actually an item. I guess it goes into my journal. Yeah, this definitely seems like this place isn't something that's going to be over super quick. So I think I want to test if the saves work in the next save point, like right here. Let's see. I'll do a proper save. <clears throat>
placing the first one. Thank you. And let's try a quick save. I'm just going to press F12. Yeah, it worked. I'll replace the second one. Let's see if they work. Please work. If they don't, I have no idea what the hell to do. Uh, Alright, let's try the one that I save normally. I can't even open the menu if this cutscene starts, but god damn it's the cutscene. Well, it's faster. It's literally going to be faster for me to alt-tab out of the game and then just force close it and then try the other save. <laughs> no! Oh, this is the quick save. Okay. Well, let's all tab out and force close that. All right. So I hope everybody has enjoyed so far. Um, when I return next episode, if there is a next episode, we'll see whether I can continue this game or not, because I'm going to have to Google this problem. Whew, what a game. Not making a good first impression, huh?